So whenever I make any changes over here in the diagram, then you can see on the top it says unsaved changes. So I need to click in order to save the changes that I made right here. Uh, if you have enabled auto save, then you won't see that right here. But in my case, it is turned off, so you can see it says all changes saved. I can go around and then re-change this out right here, and then you can see the same option. You can also go to file and then click on save, and the file will be updated. But sometimes you do want to make some changes, but you want to keep this file as it is. So this file is saved as tututubediagram.draw.io. So if I want to go around and then save this out as another version, then I can click on the file menu and then I can click on save as right here. Once I do that, I'm just going to go around and type in tututube diagram 2 and click on save. And now another version is saved out right here. So I'm just going to go around and select this and get this uh, properties right here. Click outside and apply another style and I'm going to save this. So when I do this, what is happening is that it is being saved in the tututube diagram to the draw IO. So if I were to go to file, click on open and then select, let's say tututube um, diagram draw IO, the previous file, then you can see that you don't see anything, but let me just go around on to the main page right here. You can see that the previous style is there. But if I were to go around over here, let me just go to open recent and you can see I can access out the file from over here as well. So let me just go around, select tututube 2 uh, uh, right here, that is tututube diagram 2 and go around on to the main piece. Then you can see that the style that we applied is here. And that is how you can utilize the save and save as options inside of diagrams.net. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.